Well, actually, I, I don't appropriate um, logos and symbols, but you could say that I appropriate the aesthetic. And so I go through a sketch process to develop each individual drawing. So if you looked at a, a, at a painting and extracted just one symbol, there's a development process that goes into developing just uh, and creating just that one that one drawing. And so, well, like I was saying earlier, when I was growing up in Virginia Beach, I realized that, um, realized the power of icons and logos and, and, and symbols and how they could transform um, otherwise ordinary objects by, by increasing their perceived value. Um, and so I really th want to assume that power for myself. And so instead of simply appropriating logos or icons that are anonymously created by um, corporations to stand for and symbolize you know any any number of goods and services I really want to take that again kind of that power and use it to communicate my own thoughts ideas uh, or concepts um, and do so with uh, with an authorship that is um, accountable and responsible for that image. And so it's a, it's a subversion in a kind of way, a subversion of an aesthetic. Um, again, whereby I'm using that, those forms, which is essentially how I learned to draw by going through a design program. I learned how to create logos and icons and all of the requirements that those entail. For instance, they have to be read quickly. There's a, um, uh, not a two, not uh, everything, uh, all the images are kind of distilled down to the essential forms. And there aren't, there isn't a wide range of scale shifts and details within one drawing because each little icon has to be reproduced um, a number of different sizes. So it really has to hold up um, at, different, at different sizes. So there are a lot of different requirements that go into making these kind of drawings. Um, and again, I wanted to kind of as, you know, assume that power for myself to communicate my own, you know, hopefully more poetic ideas than just, you know, whatever, you know, you would see in our environment, an iconic symbol symbolizing something in a very kind of blunt and um, pedestrian way, because that's the goal. So hopefully, you know, when you look at a lot of my drawings that, again, are kind of embedded in the paintings, you do a double take and they communicate more than they, than they seem to at first. Maybe I've kind of become numb to it and I think it was a, a, a hotter topic maybe five or ten years ago and the fact that it's not so much but it's, you know, is, is, is very telling and almost scary. Um, but, but, but I think I, you know, I, I believe in a kind of fight fire with fire approach. So again, that is the world, of course, that, that we experience in our daily lives. And as a reaction, I want to create my own world that I want to share with other people, and almost as an alternative um, to these other worlds. You know, so if you could immerse yourself in, in my world with, you know, through all the different things that I make, hopefully it could be more rewarding, you know, and in the end, I'm not trying to sell you anything, you know, just, just share some, share some ideas. Well, I have a corporation. I have Ryan McGinnis Studios Incorporated, um, and I've um, owned other small businesses. Uh, Maybe since high school, I think I started my first corporation. Um, so I'm not necessarily against corporations. Um, I guess what I, more accurately, I think what I would be against or is people's relationship to corporations and corporations' relationships to people. Um, even to the extent where, whereby corporations have, in a lot of ways, more rights than individuals. And 
I think it's 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 scary when a, when a when a society is set up to give corporations more rights than than it gives rights to individuals. So corporations, in and of themselves, I'm not necessarily against. Um, they're kind of necessary legal entities to, and and can and can do you know great and wonderful things for humanity. But I think it's how people react to corporations and how corporations react to people on a very kind of human level. That's, that's something to be worried about, I guess. Mm -hmm.